Uh, Henry Fonda, but he always looked good in the, in the smiling picture. You know? Around Adita Sherman's studio, you hear a lot of old famous names. This is, uh, oh, this is Joe DiMaggio. This is Noel Coward. They are the people she has photographed for the last 60 years in her home and studio atop Carnegie Hall in New York City. Uh, they're almost all dead except for uh, Angela Lansbury. Now 98 years old, Sherman is being forced to move. Let me show you my dying swan that I do. Artists have lived and worked in these apartments for more than 100 years. But these studios are now being converted into classrooms and office space by Carnegie Hall chairman and former Citigroup CEO, Sanford Weil. He is organizing a youth music program here that he is naming after himself. In a statement, a Carnegie spokesperson said, this will benefit tens of thousands of people and upset a small number of people. Carnegie Hall has agreed to help pay Sherman's rent for the rest of her life in a nearby apartment. Come fly with me. But Sherman is still trying to come to terms with the transition. Well, anybody would be kind of sad to have to leave, you know, after they've lived in a place for <laughs> 60 years. <laughs> for Sherman, there are so many memories. That's me, 1950. Photographing Andy Warhol while he photographed her. And I didn't like the way I looked. You know how you get with your pet. Getting that perfect shot of Bella Lugosi. This is the famous one that's on shirts. And raising five children among these photographs with her husband until he died. He died at the age of 50. Sherman is still striving to better her art. Was, uh, with her century-old Eastman camera, she's still looking to take that one photograph that will become iconic. I'm trying to get my book published. She'll now have to take that aspiration elsewhere, away from the beautiful natural light in this studio. I love Carnegie Hall. I mean, I'll always, uh, you know, be there if they ever need me. Sherman and all the residents of Carnegie Hall must be out by the end of the summer. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, New York.